you're new to our channel, my partner Adam and I and our dog Tyler have been traveling part-time around Australia for the last two years. So to check out all our past episodes and all our episodes in the future, make sure you go down the bottom and like and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel on King Dino. I'm Adam, this is Twyla, and on this episode we're in the town of Namurka, which is just north of Shepparton in Victoria. Not far at all. We've just rocked up to the Namurka, how do you say it again? Namurka? Caravan Park. And uh, we've actually got a really nice spot, but we won't show you that till the morning because it is dark. We're just going to get straight into dinner because somebody's hungry. Mm -hmm. This one's already eaten. This one wants yep. to eat. It's now our turn. And the weather is getting warmer, so we're, we're going to start, um, we're going to make some um, Caesar wraps. Uh, but I'm a bit angry because I couldn't find any croutons today at Coles. Tell me, comment down below, tell me where to find croutons. Uh, <laughs> I didn't, there was no woolies where I was. But anyway, all right, well, let's get dinner on. We've got everything we need here except for me croutons. And I actually forgot to pack the parmesan, so we're doing tasty cheese hopefully it tastes all right um we've got egg we've got bacon we've got our lettuce we've got some chicken we're going to use um this bread because we had this in the cupboard and we thought if you wonder what that noise is that's twilight having a drink i'm filming here uh, <laughs> and i saw this at um coles and i thought this looks really really delicious so we're going to give that a go as well we'll tell you what we think of it so i've got my bacon cut up and the eggs are boiling, and um, Adam and Twyla just waiting, waiting for their food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do we even know what we're doing in this town? We don't, do we? No. We literally just picked it and went, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so It had a river. It had a river. I can't wait to show you that in the morning. I can't so, wait to show you that in the morning. It's going to be good. Eggs are peeled. Now I've got the bacon on. With the chicken, I'm just going to add in a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper so we're all ready to put it together i've got my lettuce on i've got my egg cut up now i'm just going to add a little bit of bacon so there's my bacon and now i just want to add some cheese and now to add my chicken i'm still really devastated about the croutons but anyway let's get over that and then it's time to hit it with a bit of this Whoa. and how good does this look well, I better give it to Adam and see what he thinks. Well, the one I just made, Adam didn't want to eat. He said he wants to make his own. So Twyla and I are getting in first. Check this out. Now, if you're using these wraps, you might want to use two because they're really, um, they're not really wraps, is it? It's mountain bread. Um, it's really thin. But I'm going with one for this one. We'll see how we go. And um, I think, Adam, are you doing two? What? Oh, actually, maybe I should. You're thinking about doing two? Yeah, I'm going to do two. No mention it. This is so delicious. What a good idea. Coming into the warmer weather, these are the kind of meals you want to have when you're camping. Look at this one. <laughs> so Adam, what's the verdict on it? Happy with it? Mm -hmm. Good one coming into summer? Yeah. I'm really hungry, so it's... Um, so you don't care what it tastes down, like? It's gone down really quick. <laughs> so I think we've worked out who the number one fan is of the Caesar wrap. Yes. <laughs> Can you get me close to it? She's giving you kisses. She's <laughs> TV reception is good, which is always good. I haven't even had to put the antenna up. The football's on. And uh, yes, finals are just around the corner, hey Twyla? But um, Adam's, it's time for Adam's um, treat. I got him a Mars bar for dessert. You know, what Adam, you know what Adam's like. Here you go, here's your Mars bar. Now, while I am on the subject of football, check these out. I had to, oh, ran the wrong way. I had to buy these because I've always thought, how could cool it be to have a pie with sauce chips? And now they brought them out. Look at Adam's face. Depends who you Look are. Look at Adam's face. <laughs> Some things shouldn't happen. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give these a taste and I'll let you know what they'll taste like. 
The Twilers always already come for a taste. But anyway, I don't think she can have these. Mmm. Very wrong. Not wrong. Stop it. You, you always <laughs> got to pick on something different. Yeah, not the best. Not bad. I can I can actually taste like I can Try that flavour of the meat, you know. Smell it. The beef pie. Twilight, she'll be up she'll love it. I know she would love it. A glorious morning the sun is out it looks absolutely beautiful I'll give you a closer look at our view that we've got from the back of our van so nice and um, I and by the way that's our this is our site here we're next to a van here they give her a bit of concrete so we can sit out there which I'm gonna make dinner tonight out here so that'll be perfect and hopefully the weather keeps up because this is just gorgeous I'm in a pair of shorts that is how beautiful this weather is. Oh, by the way, it is football season, you know. Uh, we're getting down to the finals, and um, if you want to know who I want to win, can you see that? There you go. <laughs> go Collingwood. So this is now, I don't know what this river is. We'll have to see if we can find out or what, what it actually is, but it does actually loops all the way around the caravan park. I'll get Adam to put the drone up a bit later so you can actually see where the caravan park is situated because it's quite nice. And um, look at these beautiful old gums. Oh, looks so good. Loving it. I'm actually liking this um, hotel across the motel or hotel, motel, across the water. How cool is that? That's in town. Um, that's the main street there. And it looks very, it reminds me of Mexico. But anyway... Better get Adam up and uh, get this day started. Don't even know what we're doing. Twyla's ready, look at her. You ready? You ready to go? Well, Adam's up, ready to face the day. You don't look so enthusiastic. If I must. If I must. <laughs> and Twyla's already been for a taller run, so she's happy. And um, I've just set up the table because we're just gonna have some, I'm gonna make some egg and bacon muffins before we head into town. We're definitely keeping breakfast light and easy today. We're just having the one because um, there is a bakery in town and you know what Adam and I are like. We'll probably end up there first thing. But anyway, <laughs> cheers. How good does this look? Yummo. I actually threw a bit of mayo in it. Um, I don't know, just felt like it was in the fridge. So I've just come to reception to pay because we didn't pay last night. And we've met this little guy. Hello. Tyler's really happy. Get down. <laughs> oh, a bit scared. What are you doing? What are you doing? Polly, want a cracker? Yeah? <laughs> what are you doing? So just across the road from the park, there's a really big skate park. And then it's got a really, there's a walking track you can walk along and a bit of a water feature over there. So anyway, we're gonna head into town. And, uh, oh, look at that. The hotel's actually like a Mexican themed hotel to go with a cactus farm up the road. One of the top 10 things to do in town is visit the Rose Garden. Unfortunately, if you're into gardening, 
Yeah. And then across the roads, that um, one of the other top ten things to do. What's that? Hammond Park. Hammond oh, more roses over there too. But um, yes, somehow I think we've picked the wrong time of the year because I don't see one rose yet. I see bushes, no roses. We just come across these pictures of the town, the 1900s. And uh, there's a few more pictures here. Oh, they've added colour to these. Oh, watch out. Been colourised. Yeah, been colourised. But um, I'll film this building on the way back. It's a really nice looking building, but um, I'll film it from the other side of the road. So it's actually a museum that is open Wednesdays and Sundays. So you can come along and check things out. And uh, oh yeah, you could always scan that and that'll take it to show you all about it. And this building um, is pretty old too. So they do have a Chinese restaurant here, so if, and which is in like two minutes of the caravan park. So if you wanted to go out for dinner, you could come here. Uh, there is a food works, so that's always handy. Oh, there's an op shop. Um, yeah, so you've got everything you need. And we saw about two or three pubs driving in. There's one of them over there. We're thinking of maybe having lunch at one, but we'll see how we go. Walk past a few cafes now. This is another one. It's got outdoor seating, so if you've got a dog, don't mind a bit of street art. So we've got these birds, all obviously native birds to the area. Looks wow. so cool. Well, I'm, I'm assuming, okay. <laughs> is the ladybug native to the area? I'm sure this it is. From it is not. You're <laughs> such a liar. <laughs> yes. Oh, there he is. Hello, Booty. And, um, oh, and a bee or something, or a wasp maybe. Oh, that's cool. Check out how nice this courthouse looks. Looks like it's got a craft shop in there now. But uh, yeah, another nice building. So at the start of the street, you've got Richie's IGA, which has all these photos as well, but there is a story to go with this. Adam's gonna tell us. In 1852, uh, Thomas Ritchie was on a, was a sole survivor of a shipwreck, and then 18 years later, he started his own business, Ritchie's, and it's now this today. Oh, there you go. There he is. Good old Ritchie. Then down the other side of the IGA, they have a war memorial along the side of it. it has lots of stories and pictures, and um, then across the road is the actual memorial park so we'll go across there and have a look too Towards the end of the war in 1945, the government acquired over 63,000 acres of land forcibly, taking the land from indigenous and squatters in the area. This was known as the Murray Valley Soldier Settlement Scheme. This land was then given to returning soldiers of the war, so they had settlement, and these blocks of land were then turned into dairy farms and irrigation. So this is a walk I might do later. It's of the wetlands. Um, so basically, this just shows you, this is town here where we just have been walking. And then over here is the wetlands. So you can do the big walk. They've got places where you can look for birds. You've got a, areas where you can sit down. You've got these places where you can hide from the birds. <laughs> so yeah, it looks pretty cool. So might, there's no toilets. But there's no toilets, okay. And that's just a bit about it and all the animals that live there and yeah. So I might check that out later. Just walking off the main street to come check out, I saw this and it reminded us of Matoa because Matoa has a museum in their old water tower and uh, we thought it looks really cool. I reckon they could do something with that. Get onto it, cancel, because that is a pretty cool looking water tower. We decided, cancel, you need to put a mural on here. I think a really big frog or something, I don't know. Something to do with the locals. Maybe not a frog. Uh, 
but we're going to head back this way to the um, caravan park because, uh, and then we'll, um, we've got to decide where we're going to eat lunch today because there's so many choices. So if you wanted to do the walk from town just around, they've got this walk that is um, 2.6 k's and um, it, this is basically where we are and then you can go all the way up and around. So it's a good track, probably wouldn't take that long. So we're back from our walk around town. It was quite nice um, and we're deciding on where we're going to eat lunch. So we're going to head back in there later. But Adam is busy doing some work. So while he's doing that, I'm going to take you around the van, around the van, around the park and show you the uh, accommodation and the facilities. This here is a view of the actual park itself. So you can see it's just one big loop and the water goes all the way around and we're over, we're at number eight. So if you like our spot, that's number eight. And there's all these ones here. So I'll take you around here to show you what that looks like. So just behind the camp kitchen, you've got a few spots here and uh, there's a few tables. These ones have got wheels, so you can wheel them around. There's power, so these are powered sites. And um, yeah, look at the river goes quite wide here. And then I've got some, there's some guys down here they're fishing, going for a fish, looks like you might actually have something. And um, yeah, so it's a pretty cool little spot. So then this is the camp kitchen. So you got a TV up there. Uh, Adam's spewing because he thought that there was lollies in here, but no, they've got uh, cans of Coke and Pepsi, if you want some of that, and Sprite. And you got two barbecues under here your sink and kettle, everything pretty much you normally get in a camp kitchen. Um, oh, they've even got a good old stereo up there. Uh, no dogs obviously in this part of the park and uh, a fair few tables. So in the roundabout, I'll call it, <laughs> you've got the toilets, which I'll take in and show you them soon. Um, your laundry, you've got some um, clotheslines hanging clothes out and then that's us over there and there's a few not too many permanents here so there's one there one there one there um but not too bad and then there's a whole heap of nice spots here this would be a nice spot number 18 because you've got the shade shade of the trees look how nice that is um yeah so oh look at that van pretty cool van that one the pop out at the back and a pop-up roof so the laundry is in use at the moment, that's why it's a bit loud in here, but um, well it's not that loud, but <laughs> so you've got your, all your normal stuff you'd have in a laundry, and these are the bathrooms and toilets, so it's, um, they're nice, clean, and newly tiled, so pretty cool, and I've got a feeling the owner used to be a truck driver by looking at all of these pictures in the bathroom. Undercover picnic area. And they also have a couple of cabins that you can hire if you don't have a van. I think this is a sign that Collingwood's going to win. Look, magpies. I knew it. But, um, Anyway, this is the park. It's um, only a small park. It does have everything you need in a caravan park. So pretty cool. Now I better head back to the van and um, see if Adam decided where we're gonna go for lunch. So we're now heading out for lunch. We still haven't chosen anywhere, but uh, I think I'm feeling like a pub, but we'll see what we end up at. So where we are, we're sitting outside, so there's a bit of a, a side entrance where you can sit with your dog. Um, I've just been inside to get us um, drinks and um, very local, very local, everyone's staring at me. <laughs> but they all seemed really nice and um, just got a, picked up a beer. Adam's having a lot of bitters and we're just going to look over the menu.
So Adam, what did you end up getting? The yeah, Arancini ball. Yes. The tomato and basil. They look good. They good dessert. Look good. Look good dessert. Yeah. Yeah. Popping up. And then I got a, what's more like a tasting platter? Yeah. Yeah. And it has the arancini balls on it also. It has some chicken and um, some um, bruschetta. And this I am not eating. I, I wish it was fries, but it's not. Um, it's seafood, so that's why Adam's going to have that. What are they called again? Calamari. Calamari, yeah. Calamari, but I don't eat seafood, so... Anyway, cheers. Look at Adam's cheeky face, because he knows. <laughs> I was hoping that he couldn't good. help himself. What have you gone and got? Well, the kitchen closes in five minutes. It closes in five minutes? And it's 1.55, and I'm like, have they forgotten my power? Um, well, it's here. It's yes, finally it's here. here, so you can get Did excited you? and uh, have your smashed pav. Well, he must have liked it. It's all gone. <laughs> that didn't take long. Smashed down. Smashed Five minutes. <laughs>
Um, but yeah, there's quite a few on here. It's a really nice picture actually. And uh, there's some, some information if you want to pause it. And this actually has a guide to the picture so you can actually see what bird you are looking at. But I think now it's time to get quiet and have a little look at these birds. Well, that looks like it's it for the wetlands. Back at the van. Now to go see if Adam wants to go check it out. Look at Twyla, she's waiting for me. Hello Twyla, I'm back, I'm back. Well, we're back at the caravan park and um, that was so good going on that walk. And now that has definitely made me start thinking about food again. Got a bit of an appetite up. So tonight I'm gonna do two salads and we've got some sausages. So I might get that started now. The first salad I'm making is pretty basic. I'm just making a potato salad. I've got my mayonnaise, spring onions, two eggs I'm gonna boil. Um, I've got my bacon, which I'm gonna cut up in pieces and cook up, and parsley and pepper. And then potatoes are outside cooking right now. All right. So I'm just gonna add in some parsley, just dry parsley. My spring onions, pepper to taste. I like to add just a half a tablespoon of garlic. I've just cut up my egg, pop that in, and now it's time for the mayonnaise, and then just mix that through. Okay, there you have it. That is the potato salad done. Look how nice that looks. Now, ideally, I would normally roast these at home if I was making a salad, but we're not at home, so I've just popped them in, I boiled them, and I am now took the water out and putting some oil over them, and I'm gonna try to get them a little bit brown. So I'm happy with my pumpkin. I've got some rocket leaves, and this is another really easy one. I've just got a bit of olive oil there, some balsamic vinegar and feta and some pine nuts and that's all it is i'm going to put it all in now but i'm going to leave the vinegar out until we're ready to eat um, because the vinegar will burn the lettuce one thing i am loving is the color look how nice and summery this looks well the sun's going down on what was an absolutely stunning day and a stunning weekend this is our first proper weekend away with good weather. I think, well, for ages, ages. Anyway, I'm gonna get the snags on now and then we'll dish up dinner. Okay, I've just finished cooking my sausages and an alarm's going off. I don't know if it's because there's a fire, if we're about to get a bomb raid, I don't know. Comment down the bottom if you know what you think it is. But, oh God, it sounds so scary. Adam, did you hear all the alarms going off? The police went past everything. Did you burn the food? <laughs> On your come in and you'd be so undramatic. <laughs> Here I'm thinking we're getting bombs dropped, up, dropped on us. Oh, that's or, a dramatic exaggeration. Yeah, Twyla, were you worried? I don't think she even heard it either. You're both deaf. I think I've just come to the conclusion. You're both deaf. All right, well, let's eat dinner. Adam just addressed the part, the salad. I was about to say past salad. The salad, I'm just going to give that a toss, and then we can start eating. So do I take it you didn't like the potato salad because there's still some left on your plate? Or you just, <clears throat> I'm full. Just full. Because <clears throat> you ate one too many nuts earlier. Yeah. Twyla's not fussy. <laughs> she, she'll have anything. Yeah. That's it. That's what you get. No. <laughs> so we've woken up to another absolutely glorious day. Oh, I'm loving this weather. I need more of it. And uh, I've got Twyla with me. Just taking her for a toilet run before we start this day.
But first things first, we need a coffee. So we're walking back in town to grab ourselves something from the cafe, but we just noticed this sign wasn't here yesterday, it's gone up. So they have a, um, like a car show here, and um, it's on the Sunday the 15th of October. So if you're interested, something else to come check out. So literally a three minute walk from the park, we've ended up at the bakery. We have been here once before, a very, very long time ago. They have some really good food. It normally does get busy, but it's pretty quiet this morning, but it is only early. We're a bit of early birds today. And uh, yeah, they've got this outdoor seating. So if you've got a dog like us, you can sit out here, but we're just doing some takeaway today. I think Adam's just gonna get us a toasted sandwich and a coffee, and he's gonna get himself a juice. All right, so Adam's got me a coffee. And you got yourself a juice. I thought you were going to get actually a made juice. No, I thought this was easy enough. It's in the fridge. Yeah. But I did get a white, I've never seen it before, a white caramel slice. A white caramel slice. So that'll be for an afternoon or a morning, morning tea treat. Um, yeah. What else did I get? Oh, information flyers and oh, some jumpers. Oh, yeah, nice, yeah. nice. We're just having our uh, toasties, which are absolutely mouth watering and coffee and they do get wait a second the king dino's thumbs up the coffee is really good so definitely get one of those if you come to this town guys we are here at cactus country now we've been here before and we've done an episode on it so i'll link it in at the end if you want to check out this in more detail, but pretty much Cactus Country is a farm of cactuses, or cacti, I should say, and um, you can actually buy them here. You can just walk the gardens, get pictures. They do weddings, they do events. They even have their own restaurant. So you can come here and taste some beautiful Mexican food, and you can even get yourself a cocktail. So I'll take you in now for a quick look, but if you, like I said, if you wanna check out the full episode, I'll tap it in at the end. Cactus Country is located only 20 minutes from the caravan park. So we're home now from our trip. We don't normally film at home after our trips, but there is a reason why. Because Adam has finally cracked open the, what is that, a wine? I wouldn't say finally cracked open. What? It's only been a number of hours. Yeah, well, it's a white. It's a first. For caramel. Me. It's a white topped caramel slice. Well, there you go, very first. And he's sharing it with his sister. Um, so we will get the results in a minute of what this tastes like. And this, I mean, it might win awards. It might win the King Dino Award. Twyla, Twyla wants to try some too, but obviously she can't. No. So here we go. Hmm. Yeah, good. It's actually got a very buttery, but the white chocolate is really strong. Yep, do you like it better than the mm. other type or about the same? I think I prefer the, the traditional. Traditional? It is nice. But it's nice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, before we leave tonight, I thought I'd just remind you, we do have our merch shop and Christmas is just around the corner. So grab yourself or a friend a present for Christmas by scanning one of our merch codes. It will take you straight to the site and you can check out our t-shirts, mugs and wind sheeters, tote bags and more. So definitely go check that out. Now guys, if you're new to our channel, make sure you definitely go down to the bottom and like and subscribe. And if you've got any comments you want us to answer, get down there and comment away and we will get definitely get back to you. All right, guys, until next Sunday, we will see you at 5 p.m. See you guys.